I recently did a collab with my friend Noe, and in his video he mentioned this cool little film app called Huji. That kind of sounds like... Fuji. Hmm. Well, it gave me an idea. See, I wanted to play around with the app, but I thought it'd be interesting to compare the Fuji app with an actual Fujifilm disposable camera. So that's just what I did. I went to a CVS, I grabbed a Fujifilm disposable camera, I got a really long receipt, and I was on my way. So let's go shoot. There was a cool neon ice cream sign right there as I was getting the cameras together and starting up the video, so I figured, why not? I like neon colors. I was going to try and make you guys guess which camera was which, but in editing I realized that I left the date on <laughs> on the app, so I guess, uh, I guess that kind of ruins that, huh? Well, one other thing I noticed pretty quickly was the fact that the focal lengths are very different between the cell phone and the disposable camera, so we'll have to try and compensate as much as humanly possible. I'll try and make the shots as similar, but they're going to be a little bit different if I'm being honest. Alright, so we're walking away from the ice cream shop now. I feel like the bank... I don't know, it's kind of cool looking. Let's see if we can do something with that real quick. The clock in the foreground maybe. As I walked down Main Street away from the bank, I noticed that the church was right there and the sun was just coming in right behind it. It looked really nice. The sun's kind of right there, so it's probably going to be heavily backlit, but it might be cool. The backlighting was a little bit tough, but I really love the way the disposable camera looked. I just wish I would have framed it up just a little bit more straight. Across the street from the church, I noticed the Lonsbury House, and I'm still not entirely sure what that is or if I'm even saying the name right, but I can tell you what it is to me. Photo. The leading lines on this path right here that kind of go straight to that tree. I don't know. I would love it more if there weren't like those stumps. Those stumps kind of suck, but we'll shoot that. So you know, one of those lessons I always keep learning. If I would have waited a little bit longer, this is a much better shot here. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it. We still, we're only on like 22. And I'm using this frame counter to keep my phone on track as well. Kept walking down a little further and there's this big ass cool tree here. So I'm going to try and do a low angle and get like a nice flare from the sun coming out right there. All right, so now we're crossing the street over to the Aldrich, which is a museum. And there's a bunch of uh, modern, it's a bunch of modern art crap here. I want to get a shot of this, this thing. I don't really know how to hit it though. But you can go in it. It's got a little, little conch in there. I was really drawn to this just because of the way the shadows were coming in. I love the geometric patterns. This is what we're here for. This cool Apollo sign. I think I kind of like it with this stuff in the foreground. The thing I don't love is the plaque explaining what it is. So I'm hoping that I can use this to kind of block it out. Hey, butterfly. I'm a little disappointed with this one. I probably should have just went in closer and did a portrait style shot, like a low angle looking up at it, but it is what it is. And what's that over there? I believe I've spotted a deer. This deer statue is really cool and it's deceptive. It's almost hard to tell the scale of it, how big it is until you get close to it. Just for scale, it's a, it's a pretty big deer. I tried a few different perspectives, and I'm not gonna lie, the first question I had was, did the deer have balls? It, uh, didn't. I was definitely into that deer, though. B balls or no <laughs> balls. <laughs> Here's another one of those just, like, nice leading line shots. I really like this one, so... I'm gonna get low. This one was a real pain in the urethra though because there was cars that kept going by and I didn't want any cars in the shot so I had to time it and it was hot and I was sweaty and I'm gonna keep complaining. I'm happy with the shot though. That blue bike right there is cool, we're gonna shoot that. I'm really happy with how the disposable camera shot came out on this one but the one from the phone, I was just, it was way too far back. I needed to get in closer and that one kinda sucks. It's a nice American flag right here. And there's another one there. I would make a self-deprecating joke about how good I am at explaining things here, but honestly, this is kind of how my process goes. I just see stuff I like and I shoot it. For better or for worse, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> for these town hall shots, I really needed to go further back, like maybe even across the street. It is what it is. These are not my favorite shots at all. 
I stumbled upon this shot as I was crossing the street and I just fired off two really quickly. I really liked the way the light was falling on the area and the fact that it was empty, it was just, it was pretty cool. From there I started walking back up and I came to this scene. I fired off a couple here just because I really liked the texture, I really liked the trees, the hanging lights, all the different storefronts, so I took one with these people walking away from the frame. I also grabbed another shot after they left the frame, just getting the empty street. And I went for a tighter shot on the lights that were hanging. I actually have shot this one before. I think it's on my Instagram, maybe. This one was a little bit of a bummer, too, because neither picture was in that tight focus. I guess shallow depth of field was just a little too much to ask for a challenge like this. And of course, show some love for Planet Pizza because they got cool pizza wings. Not like chicken wings covered in pizza. I mean, like literally the, the wings on painted on the <laughs> window. Not gonna lie, they're buffalo chicken tender things. Pretty solid. We're gonna do one of these. I like the colors, like the moss and the, the textures on the tree. Got some more colorful flowers there, so we'll do that with the sky in the background. That'll be, that'll be nice. got this guy over here that's pretty cool it's the mascot for that I, I guess I don't know but I like him I just shot straight down here those two people were kind of in a nice spot so I just kind of snapped the shot really quickly just because I like the composition so the film camera is sure to have a better composition than the cell phone, but whatever. And once again, past Lou makes future Lou look stupid. The disposable camera is actually on a pretty awful angle, and the cell phone is actually alright. I just wish the people would have been closer. And I like the way the light and shadows are playing over here, so I'm gonna get a shot straight down here. Love the way these roots look, so we're gonna get a low angle of that. Cause that's just, I don't know, there's something really cool about that to me. And that, my friends, was the last shot on the roll. This was the first disposable camera I shot in a very, very long time. I feel like the last time I must have been in like either middle school or high school. I had a ton of fun just working on this, especially with all the other videos, to do stuff like this, just little creative projects. It's really refreshing for me, and I like just getting out there and shooting. I think overall, one of the big takeaways for me is on these disposable cameras, it's very easy to finger the lens. I don't, I don't love that, I'm sure you guys noticed throughout. But other than that, the colors I got out of the disposable Fuji, I love them they look great they have that nice little fade to them and they all kind of seem a little bit overexposed but I like their look in terms of the Huji app I think things are a little too saturated the wider angle makes things a little bit more difficult and honestly the light leaks that they add you can turn those off I just wanted to see what they would do and I I think they're pretty cringe to be honest but some of them worked out cool I guess well anyway guys this is my favorite photo what's yours let me know in the comments below and let me know if you're enjoying these videos I really like making them so they're gonna keep happening either way but <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for support and as always we're closing in on that 3000 I'll have a very special announcement to make then and you can find me on here Instagram discord myspace Twitter all all the places I'm probably deleting Facebook soon though so you know don't don't follow me there all right guys I'll catch you in the next one see you later bye but other but other I really like this spot because there was a lot of track and once again, pe <coughs> stupid, the, the, and once again, pe church was right there too on the main path, just as guess which photo was, sh I was trying, I was going to try and make you guys, yeah, I got a shot of the people leaving, I got a people, look at those photos before I developed, now nah, whatever that's, like and subscribe to Sweet Lou Photography, the man.